To simplify this problem, let's first raise everything in the numerator to that second power on the outside and everything in the denominator to the negative first power on the outside. So that will get us 2 squared times x squared times y to the fourth times z to the negative sixth over 5 to the negative first times x times y to the negative first times z to the negative second power. All right, and then with those, we can see that the 5 should go up in the numerator so that the first power is positive. And then we have 2 squared up in the numerator already, so we can multiply 4 times 5. And then let's combine the terms with the like bases. So we'll have times x to the power of 2 minus 1 times y to the power of 4 minus negative 1 times z to the power of negative 6 minus negative 2. Alright, once we add those exponents and multiply, we will get 20 times x times y to the 5th times z to the negative 4th. And then all we have left to do is throw that z in the denominator to make that exponent positive. And that gives us 20 times x times y to the 5th power over z to the 4th power. And that's our final solution.